doesn't like certain people. I, I happen to despise rap and the whole ghetto thing. I, I, I don't think ghetto is a culture. They call it a culture, but it's not. You know, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a, a, a defect of humanity, personality defect. It's like idolizing the criminal element. Not all hip hop is, you know. No, not hip hop. I'm talking about criminal rap. You know, very negative lyrics and. Uh, mm. And what do you do when you go into you know, it's a like, ghetto? You see graffiti. You yeah, think but, graffiti is art? Yeah. No, no. graffiti is. But not on vandalism. Vandalism. That's the point. Vandalism. That's the dip. That's the point. But the, it is art. No, it's not. It's where it's put. Well, if you get permission to Supposing paint Supposing that a, guy a that mural. Does, what about the guy who the guys who do uh, sand castles? What about the guy who does sand paintings on the sidewalk? Is did that he, not art? Does, did he get permission? Did Even he get he, did he get permission to do it? Well, that's not the, the sidewalk is public. He has no right to paint the sidewalk. It's public. He should get busted. It's the commons. You got to get permission. You don't have no. a you don't have a right to paint. It doesn't belong to you. It's the commons. You have no right. Well, what about it's the, like a park? What about the other people that don't want that don't don't want to see crap painted on on the sidewalk? Well, that's my point. It's where it's done is the problem. And it's what it is too. It's but you're saying it's not art. If you see a I'm bunch of it is if art. you see a bunch of scribbling, a bunch of uh, defacing scribbles, it that's not you art. Just said that. If it, it is art. No, it's not. It's where it is, is the problem. Why can't they paint on their own property? It would still be art, wouldn't it? Yes, but yeah. it, it's, oh, it's vandalism. Okay. Where it's done. Are you kowtowing to this, this particular group of people in the United States that do this shit? I'm saying it's nice art. It, no, it's vandalism. Where it's done. It may be construed They should be as incarcerated. You don't go to a public place and start spray painting and painting things. I just said that. It doesn't it, it degenerates the You not you see it, it degenerates you know degenerates. You see where I live? This is I live upper. in a quiet suburb. You can hear a pin you all you hear is birds chirping. Everything is nice and neat and clean. That's the way I like it. I don't want to see no friggin' graffiti on my sidewalk. But when you get an idea, you go with it in your opinion, but you don't listen to the whole picture that I'm trying to say. I know what you you're are saying. saying. No, you're not. No, you ain't. I've seen graffiti that is art. If I, I put the Mona Lisa on someone's building, you get it's still art. You get authorization and permission before you do it's it. It's still art. If it looks like art. It's still art. So where it is wait a minute, is the problem. Wait a minute. Let me ask you another question. I know this guy who makes a big deal out of his paper mache. Oh. Me and others that I know feel that paper mache is are for people that have really no artistic talent. It's a bunch of crap. You throw a bunch of, of glue, uh, sticky uh, paper or whatever, and you and you. It's like modern art where you just throw painting on a on a piece of plywood. That's it's it's maybe art to them, but it's still crap. To you, what you do is art. This you. this guy over here is but art. But if I do it on somebody's building, it's still art. It's art, but you get permission. Or if Did, are you or listening if I, to if what I I'm saying? If I saw you painting on a building, are you listening? To I'll what have I'm you saying? put the cuffs on you. That's correct. And why is that? Because, because you of didn't get permission. But it's still art. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not denying. Yes, that. you are. No, you're trying to say that somebody can paint on a public no, building. No, you are saying they can't. No, they can't. But I'm saying whatever they do on the building is still art. What about the scribbling you see when you drive on a high? What about what They're the punk? What it. about what the punks do? You're not what, getting What about it. what the criminal element does? You're not getting it. And they spray paint a bunch of uh, whatever symbols. And what if it's art? Well, they might say it's art. Well, what if it is art, I'm saying? So what's the problem? Regardless, the problem is it degenerates the, uh, the, 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 the surroundings. It defaces things. So, 
back to my argument. It's vandalism. It's where it's done. So you're in favor. You you feel that these oh, these God. that these God. dirty, dingy ghettos should exist. What the hell does that have to do with ghettos now? Because that the people that do that, that's where they live. The sand painters don't live in ghettos. Oh, you the sand castle makers don't live no, in ghettos. Cool. What does like, that have to no, do with anything? No, I, I'm I'm singling out graffiti. And some people Well that's your problem. Some people consider you don't, it, you don't single out graffiti. You single out vandalism. It where it's done. Comprende? I still don't think somebody should be able to paint on a public building. They should get permission to and do I it. And I agreed with that how many times already? So why are you busting my chops? But it's still art. Or uh, what does that have to do with the uh, the the type of ladies? Oh, uh, you know what? Let everybody let everybody spray paint graffiti all over the place. You want to live in that nobody, kind of environment? You know what? You live said a that. Nobody said that. See, you are criticizing you see, that which is painted, this is, sprayed, or whatever. I'm glad. And I'm not I, doing listen, that. I'm glad, folks. I'm glad I registered as an independent and not as a Democrat. Oh Jesus! Because what there, this because with there are Democrats now? that don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. Everybody's wonderful. Everybody's special. Everybody. What does that have to do with graffiti? They, because the people that do it are degenerate and are, are of a criminal element. Caravaggio killed a man. But he was a great artist. So what? Caravaggio? That's correct. So you don't get the point. You know, what you was get that? stuck oh, in oh, the, oh. this who was that guy? Uh, uh, who was that guy? Maplethorpe, the one that put a crucifix. Maplethorpe. Maplethorpe, some degenerate that put a crucifix in in a, in a jar of urine or something, and he called it art, and and he felt people were were uh, oppressing him and denying him his right to Censorship. express. They were censoring it. Correct. Did he have this in a You just said did a few he try moments to, ago. Did he try to put everybody this? Everybody is entitled to their own opinion. Wait a minute. And etc. Now you change. Did this guy try to get that jar of urine with a crucifix in it into a public museum? It was in a public museum. It has no business being there. Did he get authorization to bring that in? You don't get authorization. They buy it. That's a, an offensive thing to have in a public museum. To sell it. A, cru okay. a crucifix and a, and a but that's your opinion well there are well you know what if it's in a public place you see if it's going to be accepted and if it is it is if it's not well you can't bring your disgusting degenerate work of art in a public museum you know simple as that I don't think you have read much history in times past uh, certain artworks at certain eras, the like the before the Renaissance and the East, that and the other thing, and, and modern days and this guy, they were not accepted. They were not considered art. That was their opinions back then. Yeah. And they, the Catholic Church. If you did anything that was not of the Madonna and Child or Christ on the cross. You I, were a heretic. As a driver, I often go on the highway, and sometimes, don't ask me how they do it, sometimes I'm on a highway and I go under an overpass, and I, I look up, and what do I see <laughs> on the overpass? I see graffiti. Spray, spray, spray paint graffiti. Somebody holds their feet. Uh, and leans them over. Uh, to me, this is defacing public property. It's a form of vandalism. The the Depends. little what the, if you put a swastika the little d delinquents might is call it art? art. Is that art did, when you put a swastika? Did you know there? that a swastika is an ancient symbol from India that goes way, way, Correct. way, 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 maybe th in thousands of years. Yes. Correct. Before Nazi Germany. Correct. It's like a never-ending uh, spiral. Yeah. So the, what the, does it have to do? The symbol with? of Sicily is the head of Medusa, I believe, with legs in the shape of a swastika. The same exact shape. It's cool. an ancient symbol. So what does it have to do with Nazi? I, I, 
No, no, it, 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 technically it's not a, a universal symbol for Nazism. The point is that different eras, different times, historical periods, some things are accepted and others are not. Yeah. In the 60s, oh, homosexuals were criminals. They were sick with neurosis. They were this, that, and the other thing. Listen, fine. Today, 13 states allowed them to get married. Decent, well educated. There is such a thing as evolution. True. Decent, well, e decent, well educated human beings do not want to live in an environment with a bunch of crap, garbage on the street, or graffiti spray painted on buildings and shit like they that. They also don't want to live in a, uh, 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 a situation where Wall Street. Yeah. Kills them, steals from them, etc., etc. But we do. There's a lot of contradictions. Like, for instance, if you lie to the government, like that banner I posted, if you lie to the government, it's a felony. If the government lies to you, it's politics. It's NSA spying. <laughs> yeah, why, why did some, why did a friend of mine call that gentleman Mr. Snowden a a spying a traitor if the guy was doing Americans a big favor by letting them know that when <laughs> when when Ob when Obama told the American people that your private conversations are not being spied upon and he lied the truth was that you are being spied upon so because he tells the truth there are some tea party uh, uh, boobs out there. It's not just tea parties. That, boobs. that think he is a he's a traitor and he should go into prison. Why for doing Americans a big favor by 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 uh, spilling the beans? Because in America we have this thing like the those in authority are the government and you have they to, are in charge and you have to obey. We them. are not. Yeah. But Yet the Constitution says otherwise. Like I said before, the sickening sycophants. And they're out there. And, and, and the, a lot of these Tea Party people, a lot of these idiots from the red states, the Bible Belt red states that, 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 uh, that worship the, this cult. It, it has nothing to do with the Bible. It's a cult. They vote Republican based on their cult. So... Uh, you know, and a lot of them are are living week to week. A lot of them are poor uh, in these states. A lot of them are middle class and, and with the tax burden, but they still vote for the elitist Republicans. Well, the Republicans just the the farm bill didn't pass. If it would have, they would have just cut food stamps. You know. But they would have continued giving the big bucks to big agri and the big farmers and the big food companies and etc. But fuck the small farmer and fuck the goddamn people on the SNAP program. S N A P food stamps. Oh yeah. Because they every the fifty million people on food stamps are just lazy bums. They're lazy bums. So yeah, the welfare. Uh, the, the the few crumbs that the poor get in terms of social services, which make up a very tiny uh, 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 percentage of the the budget, very very minuscule, they 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 act like they're they're giving them so much. The Republicans act like they're receiving so much. Well, they but, are, according to them. Well, because but the big companies are not. Yeah, Exxon well, should not pay any taxes, General Electric should not pay any taxes, what about, well, and we should give them subsidies and refunds. Now what exactly would you call it when Chris Christie supposedly gave these billions to the, the fat cats, to the, to the rich? In other words, Christie wants to... I call it criminal. Christie, That's what I call Christie it. Christie cuts all the social services for the poor, but he supposedly... And teachers. And teachers, and he's spending taxpayers' money on his re-election campaign, right? But I also heard he gave corporations money, very, very large sums of money. Well, of course, they're the job producers. Yeah, sure. In China, in India, right? Etc. Etc. And hey, 
China and in, so but what they do is fine. What Goldman Sachs and the big bankers do is fine. That's even finer. But if one of us attempted to do what they do, they would lock us up in a privatized prison. You realize, of course, that the uh, Occupy Wall Street was infiltrated by the FBI, etc. Yeah. And spied upon. And there was also a program to kill the top leaders if they got out of hand. That's etc. That's fascism. Well, we are fascist. Why did country. then why Corporations did why did the state. Occupy Wall Street pussy out and didn't go and didn't make a big deal out of it like they do like they're doing in other countries with hundreds of thousands of violent protesters in the street? Why did they wimp out? They were put down. They didn't wimp out. They got put down by what I just said. Well, there wasn't enough people there. There were plenty of people there. You ever see the protests in, in Europe and in Turkey and in all these country, other countries? You ever yeah, they're all in one spot. They're massive amounts of people. We had them all around the country. This, this Still is the, don't make any difference. The asses of the mass. How are they going to put down hundreds of thousands of angry uh, citizens? Come on. They did it. Do you see them around they, anymore? They, there wasn't that many people at Occupy. They were around the country. That how did they all like? I'll they say it again. Disappeared. They went out. They disappeared. Okay, that's how it is in America. We pro we prosecute whistleblowers. All right. We uh, we don't allow dissent. We treat them as terrorists. Yeah. Well, but what the hell are you going to do? Being against the forces of evil is co is considered a terrorist. Exactly. So so the truth. Is we need twisted. A law. So there is um, a sort of um, way of thinking in this country where the truth is avoided and unaccepted and not uh, um, cherished by our society. It's like they perpetuate the lies, and if you call them out and and tell them publicly that they're liars, then they look at you as a whistleblower, a traitor, or a traitor, or, and the bigger the lie, or a terrorist, the more it's believed. So we have a it's easier to be sold. So we have this corrupt, like you said, corporate plutocracy, fascism, fascism, and uh, the media probably won't um, interview anybody that wants to tell the real truth. How can they? They are corporate sponsored. What are you going to go in there and say? Corporations are disgusting. They're rotten. They should be this, that, the other thing. And they're going to put you on television? I don't think well, so. Well, Lionel almost does that. Almost. Not as long as he works for a uh, big corporation. He works for WPIX right. Channel 11, New he York City. He'll go a little too far one day and he'll be out on his ass. Well, he's been pumping out those uh, editorials and. Someday Lionel is going to grow a pair of real big brass balls and he's going to start, you know, uh, well, he doesn't, he sort of names names, sort of, you know. Sort of. But, uh, yeah, and then you end up on internet broadcasting like poor Dr. Gary No. I mean, he, and nobody hears you. Gary should have his own bona fide cable station. Gary should have his own show on MSNBC. But now we're talking about sponsors when we're talking yeah, about... Yeah! And that's how the exposure comes about. Companies. Through sponsors. sponsors. that pay salaries. Like that goofball that says, Oh, yeah, how come we're not doing a show somewhere somewhere uh, high-tech, state-of-the-art? Because then you have sponsors. It, because it costs money. And, 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 uh, and uh, people that get paid a salary for being a broadcaster have to kowtow to the sponsors. Not only that, there's Which, no course, content. Corporations. Yeah. There's no content then. It's just fluff. Yeah, it's fluff and then you we have to go to commercial. <coughs> commercial time! Then the more fluff to commercial. So does our names, our real names being named? Not really. Uh, is the real truth getting out? Not really. But uh, these goofballs just want to 
criticize and uh, you know it's funny it's like it's like show business like Hollywood they'll boost your career if you have some talent if you have a lot of talent they'll boost your career but at the same time they love to tear you down like they did with Paul because Dean. it's because it's it's it's, um, it's news news that's it like a tab if you're a tabloid you you give positive news as well as negative news but like entertainment tonight they you think they pap, think they think paparazzi hang out at uh, Kate uh, Kate's uh, place where she lives and etc oh they got to get a picture they got to get a word they got to do this uh, uh, that's news for the tabloids baby because there are people with no life in America uh. that live that that live to to focus on these celebrities, these possibly movie stars, famous athletes. Well, it goes down to making. They a have buck. no life. They making they, a buck. Do people really care what uh, a, 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 a Gwyneth Paltrow or a, a, a Kim Kardashian or a, a Paris Hilton? does in their private life. Oh, I can care they less. It. They love it. I can care less what they do in their they private life. They love it. Or what, you know, what Beyonce thinks yeah. and her husband or, or wh whomever, how they feel, where, where, they, where they go to eat, who they're dating, who they broke up with. Mm. I mean, there are people who really care about that shit. Yeah. They're, yeah, because they're, their lives are so miserable and they live vicariously yeah. through others. Yeah, it could be a yeah. father who's screaming at the Little League baseball coach because his son is special. And, and meanwhile, the umpires and coaches are doing their job. You know, and well, a person becomes special. I would throw them off the field. As I told you at the beginning of the show, yeah. we become special by getting smacked. By being educated, by doing something and becoming a master at it, and, and that's how we become. We don't start out special. And living, God is not a respecter of persons. And living and teaching by example, like Jack, the late Jack Lane used to say, the best way to teach somebody is by example. Like if you have children, you yeah, set the course. example. You don't just talk to talk. You don't smoke the cigarette and tell them, hey, don't smoke. Yeah, you don't just talk to talk. You walk the walk. And the same thing goes for Christianity, for religion. You gotta walk the walk. Well, Don't say, oh, I'm saved, I'm saved. You gotta find out what the hell that yeah, what's required of you first. You gotta you, you gotta Christian. know the you gotta know the basics, you right? You gotta go to the Bible, so, you know, and not the yeah. tradition. So when you mentioned China, you know, I figured uh I, you know, then maybe that's why America getting back to the Hall of Shame, that's maybe that's why American products just don't last. And have no, there's no quality control because they're manufactured with cheap labor in mainland China, which is where the jobs are, are right now. But anyway, um, um, let's, um, you know, it, it's a perfect day to debut with the rack of deer antlers here, the horns, because there's been, you know, every time I come here and I got a real positive state of mind. I had a funny feeling in the back of my head that something was going to piss me off. And it ended up not being Bill. <laughs> it was the cat. Isn't that funny? It was the cat. You want to go out? Yeah, no, nah, yeah, no, no. You don't, ah, don't want to go out, do you? But as soon as the camera starts, the cat wants to go out. Anyway, um, Billy's going to, William H. Morrill III is going to call in at uh, 10 after. Because he wants to spend a little more time with us, so uh, uh, I think uh, I don't know. You know what? We being that your lunch is being heated now. Yeah. Maybe we have time for that one frivolous. We don't have a frivolous here. I got some. Uh, well, thing something. I'm gonna have to. I'm going to have to edit it. Edit what? Quite a bit. I had a beautiful story here. Plus. Damn. Things said about the story, and it? now I have to edit it. Why do you have to edit it? Because it's so long. Oh, wait a minute. Don't tell me it's about the birds. It's about the birds. Can we leave that for it's like... It's for the birds. I don't want to spend a lot of time on birds. What kind of a show are we doing here? We're doing a show about how authorities 
tell you what to do uh, and what you can do. So the bird story is just merely an example to a deep, much deeper All point. the stories are. All right, I tell you they what, do you have, do you have a, another reading no. that will take up the time that your lunch would, would be ready? No, because it would be ready in five, two, two minutes. You think so? Yeah. All right, you know what, let's do Absolutely. the break now. Okay, it's time for the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman's gastronomic delight known as lunch. And then we will be back with this very invigorating, ferocious show. Got the horns. These horns are really meant for conservative right-wing Republicans. Is that like the, uh, Especially Italian, the, the, the Congress. Italian horns? You mean the evil eye? The evil eye, the maluka? The mom, uh, the, the maloika. Malo maloika, that's it. Like to the to the conservatives and the tea baggers, the horns. It's an interesting prop. I mean, it's you know, it's amazing how how heavy they. Interesting prop. I, I'm sure, to, I'm sure the deer that lost it. Yeah. Thought it was interesting too. Yeah. Well, it's amazing how heavy they are. Oy. You know. <laughs> 